Hi old folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com um, So I'm finally back at uh, my office. I was on a small mini vacation uh, over the weekend. Anyway, to, I'm going to show you how to uh, unroot your T-Mobile Galaxy S3. I know a lot of you have been asking me, um, so let's do this. Um, first, you'll want to uh, basically install Triangle Away app and uh, um, basically run it to reset your counter. And then we're going to flash um, the uh, T999 stock ROM, uh, the ICS ROM, the official one, and uh, that will get you back to um, a stock ROM. And since it's an official ROM, it shouldn't actually increase your account. But let's go ahead and try it. Anyway, let's get the, uh, get the Triangle app first, and uh, uh, you can download it straight to your phone. Uh, let me show you that real quick. Um, I'll have links in my uh, blog post um, or on uh, through the description. Go ahead and download Triangle Way app. You might have to sign up for XDA developers. It's free. Go ahead and sign in, and you can download the latest version. I think uh, my my version I have is 1.71. Um, and then go to My Files or your favorite um, file browser app, and go to your SD card. And if you download it straight to your phone, it's most likely going to be in your download directory. Actually, it's version 1.51. You can use um, any of the latest versions there. And then go ahead and click on it um, to install it. Go to settings and make sure unknown source is checked on if you don't have it on first. Um, next, go ahead and run it. Install and open. And this will and hit allow. And of course, you have to have a rooted phone to do this. Um, and once that's installed, you can go ahead and um, run the Triangle app. Um, actually, you know what? It's not compatible. Um, it's not compatible yet, uh, but if it is, by the time you see this video, um, the developer of Triang um, Triangle Away app, I'll have the links on anyways, he should have it uh, solved by in, in a week or two. So by the time you see it, just run that, and then we're going to put it into um, download mode. Um, so go ahead and hold down volume down, center home button, and then um, the power button. It's not absolutely required to get rid of the binary counter because most of the time T-Mobile doesn't check it. I've returned many phones without that done. And when your phone resets, uh, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume down and the center button. And you'll get into the download mode. Um, once you see the warning sign, let go of both buttons and hit volume up. And next, you're gonna connect your micro USB cable to your computer. And then let's go to our computer. Um, next, you'll want to download the appropriate um, stock ROM. Um, I think there's also Canadian version T99D. I can't find the stock ROM yet, but if I do, I'll post it over at stockroms.net. And I will also, what was that? <laughs> I will also update um, the blog post to include the, uh, I think the, it's the T999D version. I'll have that too, um, but go ahead and download the appropriate version T999 or T999D I think but I've got the T999 which is a T-Mobile version um, so go ahead and download it uh, it's blah blah dot zip you unzip it you'll get uh, blah blah um, all this stuff a folder and also go ahead and download Odin version 1.85 1 there's also a new version I don't actually recommend that one I, the old one works fine and uh, I know some some people are having with trouble with the new version so I'm just sticking with the old one um, go ahead and download that unzip it you'll find these files that's the Odin file um, and also I'll try to have another instruction set Linux or Mac when I have time I'll definitely upload that for Mac and Linux users uh, anyway and if you if you download this and unzip the stock ROM you'll find the uh, tar.md5 file um, so basically go ahead and run Odin and uh, you're gonna just um, flash that. That's pretty much it. And uh, you should get some kind of comm sign here. If you don't, um, simply install, download. I'll have links uh, to Samsung keys. Just download, install it. Don't run Samsung keys. You just have to install it and it will install the drivers for you, uh, the appropriate drivers. And if you have trouble just getting installed, uh, the drivers installed, try another computer. That's the fastest way. And uh, you know, with Windows, there's a lot of problems with drivers. And I could help you like find out, but it's gonna take way longer than if you just grabbed your wife's computer, your friend's computer, and you know, just you know, do it again. Um, so basically, you're gonna hit PDA and go go to um, 
the folder where you unzip the files to, um, I have it. Er, I have it here. There we go. I have it under here, and uh, that was the folder I was talking about earlier. And this is the tar.md5 file. So if you have like the other Canadian version, and I did up upload the stock ROM for that, then you can select that tar.md5 file. Simply open. Don't touch anything else. I don't know why people just mess up, you know, and just start like messing with this. Don't touch anything else. The only thing you gotta touch is the PDA and hit start, and that's it. You know, it, keep it simple. And uh, a lot of people ask me like, do you have to have USB debugging on? I'm, I, I'm like. I didn't say that, you know, like, you know, so sometimes it's keep it simple, don't do, you know, what you don't have to do. It's like you get a car and then, you know, you start messing with the engine when you can just drive the thing. Anyway, anyway this will um, basically unroot your phone. Um, now it's un installing the modem and I had a custom ROM on there, so you should be completely back to stock and, uh, you know, this is a great way for you to get back completely stuck if you didn't make a backup ROM and I don't know why people don't make a backup ROM and uh, people tell me, oh, this is the first time I rooted my phone Max and then, you know, they don't make a backup and I don't get that either but um, you should always make a backup ROM back up your apps, hide your wife, hide your kids you know, do all of that before you start rooting and all of this um, you know that way you don't have to deal with headaches and you you can actually you don't even have to do this if you have a backup stock ROM um, just go into Clockwork Mod Recovery restore your stock ROM bam you're unrooted you know um, well not completely unrooted you just need to flash the uh, stock recovery with with a stock rooted ROM if you have a backup all you have to do is uh, restore to that uh, backed up stock ROM and you're probably still rooted with the custom recovery then you can just use the super SU uh, it has an unrooting uh, feature in it and it will get rid of su super user and root and also for stock recovery I'll post that soon you can simply flash that in Odin or you can also flash it in clockwork mod recovery then you have it rooted unrooted uh, without doing all this and also you get to keep all your apps um, and I'm not sure if this deletes the apps we'll find out I don't think it does but um you know just saying. Anyway, I'll be back um, when this is done, but I'll leave this running um, just in case you guys want to see it. And I'll probably fast forward this, so I'm going to do it cut right. Oh, folks, so it's almost done. If for some reason it fails, um, or if you get on your phone uh, some kind of keys um, error mode, you have to connect to keys. Don't worry about it. That's the same thing as uh, Odin mode. Simply reboot into that um, keys uh, error mode and try it again. And also, if you're using a, a USB hub, don't use a USB. Try not use it on the second time. If, if you have trouble after that, try another computer. Um, it usually is if your computer is kind of slow or something. Don't try on like Windows XP because um, this one does require your full uh, power from your computer. Um, so go ahead and try that. Anyway. Uh, your phone should now re reboot. Um, it should go into uh, the stock recovery once. And uh, let me switch the angle here. And my phone is rebooting already. And uh, hold on a second. So it's rebooting now. Um, and uh, you should be completely back um, on stock ROM. And we'll go find out uh, if we have super user or not. Um, you might have to do a factory reset sometimes. If you're coming from a custom ROM, um, usually you'll want to do a factory reset um, because there's a lot of data out there um, that you know it might interfere. Um, so you can make a backup of all your apps before you do this using Titanium Backup. Um, so after you unroot, you can root it again and get all your apps back or whatever. Uh, and also there's another way to uh, back up your um, stuff. I'll show you that in another video. I know I have a ton of videos to do. So this week I'm going to work extra uh, harder. I'm going to get really high on Android and try to push out more videos than I've ever done before. 
Um, I'm going to try to push out like 20 videos per day. I'm mostly on my high on Android channel um, because I don't want to bombard my readers at my main channel. Um, but uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. So watch out for that. Anyway, there's, there you go. We got uh, our Galaxy S3 T Mobile. Um, I have actually AT&T. I'm, I'm going to unlock it soon so I can use it with AT&T. Uh, but all my apps are there. I actually haven't lost anything. Um, so this doesn't delete anything. Um, you can go back to stock using this. But if you're on a custom ROM, you'll, you might have trouble um, with a bunch of force closes if you're coming from like another AOKP or uh, something that's not base touch with. But I was back on uh, the Red Run ROM, which is pretty much touch base, so I didn't lose anything. It's back to stock. Um, I don't have super user anymore. And uh, here's how to reset it completely. Um, if you want to return it for warranty, this is what you want to do. Um, do a factory reset. So go ahead and hold down volume up, center home button, and the power button. And hold three buttons down until your phone resets and let go of the power button when your phone uh, resets. There we go. There we go. Let go of the power button. Keep holding down the volume up and the center home button. You'll feel a little vibration and uh, you'll enter the stock. Um, now you'll have the stock Android recovery, which is the robot with its belly hanging out. Um, there you go. And here we're simply going to do um, go down to uh, wipe data factory reset, hit the uh, power button, go to yes, oops and then hit the power button. And this will pretty much reset your phone and also if you're having trouble with forks closes if you're coming from a custom ROM you can do this and reboot or if you end up in a boot loop after unrooting you can do this and it will fix your phone um, back to uh, normal. And you can choose reboot system now and voila you should have a completely unrooted phone. Um, this method does not increase the Odin count so um, you will not increase the Odin count but uh, it will not um, it will not reset it. So to reset the uh, Odin binary kind, you'll need to use Triangle app, which it doesn't support the T-Mobile. But by the time you see this video, it might. And I've I put the instructions on, in the video. So go ahead and try it. And if you can, just simply reset and use Odin, and uh, you'll have a completely unrooted phone with binary kind count at zero. And uh, I'll do another video when it's supported um, just to uh, help those noobs. Um, so it's almost done. And uh, you know what? It's, it's good. I mean, you know, I think you guys heard that the uh, Samsung uh, Samsung's Galaxy Nexus has been banned in the U.S. by Apple's, um, I don't know, it's some, some stupid thing again. Some stupid litigation. I can't believe they can get away with this. Um, everybody at Apple should... All the lawyers should go to jail for like <laughs> interfering with um you know capitalism it it's you know if if it was something like they copied you know exactly from the iPhone but it looks completely different in fact it's better than the iPhone you know it's like a hundred times better than the iPhone I know they're just jealous and you know they can't make anything better so they'll just you know start suing everybody else um, so I started up. Once you got to this point, you're all good to go. But I'm just gonna log in real quick, skip all this, and show you that um, everything is back to stock, and I've, I don't have any apps. But uh, the the contents of your internal storage and SD card, such as your uh, personal photos and videos of your son and uh, your sister, whatever, it's still there. So make sure you back those up to your computer and erase them. Um, before you return your phone for warranty, if you're gonna return phone, the phone for warranty. Um, there you go, so that's exactly the same when I got the phone, and uh, there we go. There we go, all the stock apps um, back on 4.0.4, is it, or 3? Yeah, 4.0.4, T999. And uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. That's how to unroot your um, Galaxy S3 SGH T999. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, the T-Mobile, or the international version, or the AT&T version, or the Sprint version, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS3root.com. We update you once a week with Mom of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me um, if you... 
uh, have trouble with your phone. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button up there. If you have, thanks a lot. Uh, I owe you one. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. Anyway, as always, um, just don't buy an iPhone. We all know it sucks and how terrible Apple, the company, is.